So, with Simon now following the two old draw against Bow, game of two halves really. Yeah, definitely they were on top first half, justifiably in the lead. Um, but I thought second half we responded really well. We had to change the, um, the tactics, change the shape, um, but the lads took to it very, very well indeed, and it was an honest performance. And what did you make of the two debutants today? Excellent. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought everyone put in a performance though. Um, I, I think uh, Griff needs needs games, so it's difficult, you know, when you. That's why we took him off at half time because he's only had half, uh, 45 minutes since the start of pre-season. You know, he needs. He needs eight games. Like everyone else has probably played ten. You know, with all the pre-season games, um, and so to get up to where you have a, a second win and go again, he needs he needs game time, and it's just building it up steadily. Uh, but uh, Johnny Mar gets you know scored his goal and proved to be a real thorn in their team. They say he seems to be a handful, especially in the second half. I mean, he's very quick on the half turn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was his role second half. How many times can we get it into him in the half turn? And he's got great vision great awareness and everyone has to get on that wavelength because uh, he's a quick thinking player bright and got into the box late and it was a great finish I've got to ask you as obviously a former central defender as well for their equaliser they do seem to be a little bit of a hint of a push on a, a uh, I don't know but for me he's, he's in acres of space we, we should have marked better we tried to do I think the lads quite rightly tried to keep them out of the box but <laughs> it was um, I probably got a bit out muscle in there but we'll have a look at the video and you know, it's we've got plenty of experience to put that right. It's not as if um, uh, I don't think this will be a habit. And like you said, I mean, the first half we seemed to sort of be second best, but in the second half we sort of came out and and showed what we were made of. I mean, what did you say in the dressing room at half time? Well, you can get emotional about it, you know, and it, it, sometimes it, it's not always about that emotional mot uh, motivation factor. It's about well, what can we do to, you know, upset them, and we more or less match them up and uh, and gave them a problem with Johnny Margetts you know, in the hole going uh, for their defence and um, we started winning more challenges at the back, Matt Bloom was an outstanding second half, you know, uh, sweeping up and we could squeeze up the line, we could be tighter as a result on their front two and um, like I say, the shape allowed us to play a bit better, the orthodox 4-4-2 first half, um, they were outnumbering us in the middle, we weren't tracking in, in midfield and it was proving too much for us, but we contained them much better. And actually, um, after that uh, interval, we took the game to them and looked a different team. Now, for the next match against on Monday, we've got a very physical side in North Ferriby. How are we going to counter their physical part? Oh, it's, it, it's a mental thing, you know. I think we've got big physical lads ourselves. Yeah, we're missing a few, but um, you know, we'll have to have a look at a couple. I think Reese is struggling with his growth. Um, Wally, you know, he's off to hospital with his head. Um, yeah, we'll see who's fit, but if we play like we did second half, you know, we'll be very competitive and they're an excellent team, we know. Um, and if we drop off and allow them to play, they, they can hurt us. But equally, we've got players now and we think they can, we can score more goals than previous seasons because we've got a real threat. Now, two points out of 12 doesn't look too good on the ball, but how, you know, how confident are you that it's going to turn around? We're going to get those you know, results of wins soon? Well, 42 game season, you know, we barely started and you look back at Christmas and think, oh, you know, if you did panic, that it's premature to do so and the message is incorrect for the players, you don't want to give them the jitters and we said at half time, look, it, you know, if, if you end up losing, I, I'll take all flat, I've got broader shoulders than most now, um, I'm you know, quite experienced in that department, can handle it, um, just can't enjoy it and if I change the shape, um, it's a risk on my part, but I'll take the flak and I just don't want the players pressurised when they're new to a club. It's not fair on them. I just want to pick up something you said. I mean, James Walshaw, I mean, he, he took one hell of a knock in the first half and it did look quite nasty, but to come back on and show the character that he did and his goal he took with such a plum, you must have been delighted. Hey, he came over and I just said, what, what a top guy. You know, he, that's what he used to do against us, so it's just it's great to see him do it for us. And We've got to make sure, you know, we come up with a plan to keep it really solid because with the likes of him, Johnny Marr gets now, uh, I thought Louis Swain in the build-up for, for Wally's goal was excellent. Um, we have got threats of our, our own and we've just got to ensure that uh, we, we keep the back door shut. And is that possibly the best goal celebration you've seen at this ANG Stadium? Uh, what mine or is? <laughs> no, it, but you want passion, don't you? You know, you, we're, we're living and breathing it, dreaming it, everything. Um, you know, but we've got to get a balance to things, you know, and, um, and I think we just let the players settle down, we get a few back fit, 
We've been very competitive in each. Well, we've been very competitive in each of the games. We've let ourselves down last last week, um, but that's one sim. What is it? 10, 11 games now. You know, from the start of pre-season, we've got a lot of new players integrating. We've got two more this week. We just want to settle it down, and uh, and we've got enough passion in that changing room to turn things. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Simon. Cheers.